done it on me. Hey, man. Jordan was talking after the game the other night about how he checks in with Anthony and see how he's handling the pressure and everything. I just want to see, you know, do you do those same kind of things, you and Tyree? Do you kind of talk with him about dealing, the spot, dealing with the spotlight, all that kind of stuff? Yeah, I mean, um, I was Anthony's roommate for when we were in Maui and a couple road trips after that. So we got to talk a lot. Um, I try to talk to him. You know, he's pretty busy, but I try to talk to him and let him know, like, if he ever needs to talk about anything, I'm here to help him and kind of get him through whatever he's going through. Does he ever come to you guys when he's dealing with stuff? I know you say you're there for him, but he, has he come to you guys and kind of talked about stuff? Yes, here and there. Um, he doesn't like opening up a lot. He kind of, to me, he's a little private person, but that's that's um, good as a person of his caliber to be. Um, but yes, he has. He talks to me a little bit um, here and there. Yes. What's the, what's the state of mind of this of this program? You think um, this team? I mean, you guys have had a tough little stretch. Lost the uh, lost a twenty point lead the other night. Kind of yeah. how, how are you guys uh, dealing with that? Um, I think we got back um, on track yesterday at practice. Um, you, know, you know, we all know we had a tough loss and we, the game we shouldn't have lost at all. But um, we were looking to move forward and you know get on to Texas and m tomorrow and get back on track. Talking about Anthony, what about the other freshmen too? But those guys aren't used to. Struggling, I guess, it, for lack of a better word, like yeah. kind of right now. What about helping some of those other guys? How kind of help? How are they handling right now? Um, I think they're handling it better each and every day. Um, you know, it's tough to lose, but we all know that we're more capable of winning in the SEC. Um, you know, being up in games, we just got to finish and close out um, uh, these games coming up. You didn't. Uh, uh, I don't think you had a season quite like the one you're having right now, Georgia. While you're at Northeastern, is that is that correct? Has this been an adjustment for you as well? Yeah, definitely been an adjustment, um, but I mean, I kind of knew it, it was going to be an adjustment for everyone. Um, we didn't think we would lose four straight games, but we try to look forward and you know get back on track uh, tomorrow. What's the uh, what's the tape say? I know you guys. I mean, you guys break this down uh-huh. way beyond what we do in box scores and everything else. I yes. mean, what 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 are you seeing that that, that immediately uh, could make a difference? I think. Um, you know, just playing faster. I think sometimes during the game, we kind of, like the last game, we kind of got a little complacent. We had the lead, so we kind of started coasting a little bit towards the end instead of just being in attack mode the whole game and, you know, finishing the game, finishing plays, um, you know, just finishing at the rim a little better and, you know, getting some better shots. What's it like for you when you go to these road environments, Auburn, Mississippi State, Missouri? I mean, even playing in smaller gyms in the league you're in, uh, you know, what's the, the first go round in the SEC road? games like for you when you've done that? Uh, it's pretty exciting for me. I'm um, just playing in front of a, a lot of people. I mean, basketball is basketball, no matter how many people are out there. But it's been exciting to you know go to Kentucky and stuff like that. Unfortunately, we weren't able to win, but um, we're looking to win uh, our next road game against Florida.